My name is Jess from Rhode Island Gift Consignment, and today I'm going to show you how to hang some items for the sale. So first, lots of questions that we get are things that are allowed to be consigned and things that aren't allowed to be consigned. Um, if you're in the Facebook group, you can ask questions there. Pretty much everyone will answer you right away whether or not you're allowed to do something or not. Um, there's lists of things that you're allowed to bring and not to bring. You have to re read your consigner, consigner agreement, all that good stuff. One of the most common questions we get is what's a onesie and what's not a onesie? You can't just put a onesie on a hanger and bring it to the sale, it will get rejected. This is a romper. This has elastic at the bottom. You have to make sure you snap every single snap, zipper, every single zipper, button, every single button when it's on a hanger. Everything has to be done. Then the back also buttons and this is what is considered a romper, not a onesie. So this is allowed. Something like this can be on a single hanger and can be sold by itself. This is fine. So what you want to do is you want to have wire hangers when you're getting ready to prepare all your items, prep all your items. You want to have some safety pins and a tagging gun depending on what you're using. I'm going to use pins today. Um, one thing that happens a lot with first first time consigners is they buy super super small pins like these. These are pretty much useless when it comes to consigning. These won't do anything unless you're attaching like something ridiculously small. So you want to be using something bigger. Safety pins like this size work. Things like this aren't going to do anything. You want to go with a bigger size. So something like this you're not going to need to pin at all. You're just going to take the safety, you're going to just take the hanger, and you want the hanger to when you're looking at it, I'm not sure what it's going to look like on my camera, if it's going to be backwards or not, but you, when you're looking at it, it, you want it to look like a question mark towards you. So wire hangers are super easy to work with. If they button, unbutton it, unbutton the snaps to make it easier for yourself, then button them back up. They're very easy to work with. You can bend them any way you want to make it work. So that's a bonus. So something like this doesn't require any pins or anything. And it'll be on there. You can shake it. It'll stay on there. It's nice. So when it comes to putting the tag on it for after you put all your tags up, you can get a smaller pin will work for tagging. And something like this doesn't have any tags on it. It's a it's one of those tags that are already on the clothes. It's not a tag like this that's sticking out. So when it comes to tagging an item like this, you can do two different things. You can take the tag and you can pin it right in the back, right here, on the very, very top. This part along the top right here, because that won't leave holes or anything, it won't damage the clothing at all. So you can pin it right there, which will work, which is what I usually do, because when you're sorting through looking at all the racks for the clothes, this is a good place to have a tag. And you also want the tags to be sticking out like that when you go to bring them for check-in because when we are checking in clothes, we want to make sure that this tag is actually describing this item. If it's tucked in like that, that's no good. So when you're getting all your items ready to bring for check-in, if you have them sticking out like that, that'll make things go by a lot quicker. Things will be a lot smoother. So that's one way to pin it. Another way is you have to make sure that it's on the right side of the garment. So when you pin it, it needs to be in the seam. So right here, you can do it just on the top right here. 
through there. Whoops. And then that is good to go. If I can get this to go through, there we go. So something like that will be acceptable. It needs to be on the right side though. It can't be on the left side because when they're hanging on the racks, this is the side that people are going to be sorting through and seeing what, how much this is quickly and everything. So it needs to be on the right side. Make sure that you do it in a seam or something. You can't do it right through the clothes because if it leaves a hole that will damage the clothing. The person buying the clothes will be upset when they get home and notice that there's a hole in something that they just bought. So something like this, that's good to go. This is a onesie right here. It's cute. It says little sister, so whatever. If you want to sell something like this, you have to pair it with some pants, shorts, skirt, something. So when it comes to pairing items, you need to make sure that the tags are the same brand, same size. So this onesie is a Carter's six month. So I need to pair this with something that's a Carter's six month. It cannot be a Carter's just one you, whatever the Target brand is, whatever the Walmart brand is, it has to be straight up Carter's. If it's Carter's just one you, it needs to be Carter's just one you pants. It can't be both. You can't mix them. It's, it's not the same thing. So this is a Carter's six month onesie that I can pair with a Carter's six month caprice. So these match. It goes nicely. So this is how you hang a two piece item. Like I said before, you can bend the hangers, which makes it easy for like this because this doesn't have any snaps or anything, so it can get stretched. But if you just bend the hangers in a way, it'll just go on easy. It won't get stretched. It'll stay nice. So you want to make sure that these bottoms are snapped. And then on the back, you turn it around. And with the tags, with the tag part facing, you're going to hang them on the back like that with your safety pins. So you just can do that quickly. And pants like this you can go through just right through the top because these are stretchy, it's cotton, it's, as soon as you wash it there's not, it's not going to leave a hole, it's fine. You just click it right on to the hanger like that. And then you have the onesie on front, turn around, pants on back, same size, same brand, perfect, ready to go. Once again you hang it, you can you can pin it right through the seam up top here, or you can pin it right through the arm sleeve right here, right where those two connect. Not on the side of it, either way, right through the seam, or else it will leave a hole and it will damage the clothing, and we will not accept it at check-in. But something like this, especially bigger sizes, this is a smaller size, so you won't really have much issue with something like this. But just to show you as an example, they can, things can, when they're hanging on racks, slide off and fall off the hanger. And then you're left with, okay, this isn't on the hanger anymore, and things get lost, and things get put on where all, like, the things that are missing tags and everything go and if it's losing a hanger then it just gets put there until it finds a hanger again during the sale. So you want to make sure that all of your items are secure. So one way to do that with something like this, spaghetti strap, tank top, all things like that, especially the bigger teenage girl sizes. This is a super easy trick that you can do to make things stay on the hangers. Is you just want to take the back, pinch them together, put a safety pin right through those two, and snap it and that will secure it and make it so it doesn't move as much. A common mistake that is made when hanging something like this just make sure that everything's snapped once again tops and bottoms zippered, tied, buttoned, whatever is people put the sweater over the dress like that that looks great, it's cute, but at check-in we're going to need to take this sweater off to make sure there's no stains, holes, rips in the sleeves. So once again, you button this all up, 
and you hang it on the back just like you do the pants and the bloomers, the skirts, shorts, anything. So you're going to do the same thing with that. You're going to hang it to the back just like that. You're going to pin it right through these top seams right here and then the tag once again goes on the front and the back here or on the side through the seams. Make sure once again Carter's nine months Carter's nine months Carter's nine months. You make sure it's all the same that's something that they will be looking for at check-in so you want to make sure that you don't mistake a six for a nine or whatever. So first you hang the jacket you want to zip it up then you have to get your safety pins and next you are going to hang the pants on the back just like I did for the other set. So once again nice big pins fleece is great to pin through that won't leave a hole at all You hang it right through the back, right through the top of the hanger. Make sure you go through both parts of the pants and not just lots of people hang and they just hang it through like just the front part. You want to make sure that you go through both sides of the pants just to make sure that it's extra secure. So you hang that like that. So that looks just like how we did the two-piece set. Now you add the onesie on. You do that right in front of the pants. And once again, right through the top seams on the onesie. Make sure that you're not making any major holes. Lots of people prefer using tagging guns on things like this because they um, say it doesn't make as much of a hole as the safety pins, I personally always do safety pins and like them, but everyone's different, so you can do whatever you want. It's no big deal. Whatever works for you. So then once again, you do that. So that way you have the jacket, then you have the pants, and then you have the onesie. But when you turn it around, you have to make sure that the onesie's facing you, and that the pants are facing you, that way we can check the tags easily. And then something like this is perfect to tag in. You can just pin your tag right through this. You just pinch it together, put the tag in there, perfect. Zip everything up, button everything, you're good to go. I have this to hang. So people ask, should I take it out of the package and put it on the hanger the right way? Something like this you can just leave and you can just put it on the hanger just like this. So you can actually get the hanger to go right through this part. And then just to secure it in, have the pin go so that secures it on like that through both sides. And that's perfect. You have the tag going right through the seam. It's good to go. Probably one of the number one problems that we have at the sale as far as hanging things with pins or either one or with the guns go. Is jeans, pants, anything that's big, not baby size. Lots of people tend to hang jeans on the very bottom of the hanger and I'll show you what that does when you do that. When you hang the jeans on the bottom of the hanger they move a lot. And When people are sorting through the racks, looking for clothes, putting things back, hanging things up, taking things out, they slide all the way to the side like that, all the way like that, and this is when lots of pins come off the hanger and then 
it can be left like this. People are getting stabbed from the safety pin that's not closed anymore. And they can fall off the hanger. They can get put on the no, no hanger pile of things that get lost in the sale. And it's just really no good. So what you want to do is if you have already hung things like that, you just have to take one pin off and just slide your hanger so it's up top like that. Do the same thing with this one. That way, they won't move. They're nice and secure. If they move from side to side, you can still see them. They're a nice pair of jeans. Perfect. Good to go. Jeans, same thing. You can hang in the tag. Or you can hang, lots of people hang in the pockets. Or you can hang on the belt loops. Pockets are probably better to do just because they're more like on the side. But either one is acceptable. Make sure it's on the right side of the garment. So that's it for today. Um, I will be doing a few more videos. I'll show you how to hang blankets, towels, things like that. But that's pretty much it for today. So... Um, good luck tagging, hanging. If you have any questions, go to the Facebook group. It's very, very useful. Um, and that's it. Bye.